So if you go to the Dev Hub, like I have on my screen, um, this is where we can actually get started using uh, the extensibility of Click, uh, the APIs and building mashups. And before we start looking at the capability APIs and some of the more custom integrations, let's start with the simplest. Now, the simplest way to embed click applications, sheets, or visualizations into web development projects is using the single configurator. And that's this first tab at the top here. Now this works very much like an embed. So you are just embedding applications or sheets or visualizations into web pages. It's as simple as that. And this wizard gives you some options that you can set during the embed uh, to add some functionality, such as whether you want to make selections to the application, uh, you can show the selections bar, apply some bookmarks, um, or apply some other custom selections upon embedding the views. And the single configurator does this by using an iframe. So an iframe or inline frame embeds a HTML document into another HTML document. And by using an iframe, we can embed our ClickSense application into an external HTML page. So let's select an app, and we've only got one application. You guys might have a few more, um, but let's select highest grossing films that we've just created. And then we have a list of the sheets or visualizations that we can actually uh, embed. So let's embed our overview sheet. And you can see that it gives us a preview of what that sheet will look like. And now we can either access this sheet directly via this URL, top left, or we can take these iframe links and embed it into an external document. So we will talk more about the hosting of mashups, um, and this URL is for hosting it on the ClickSense server. And most of the mashups that we're going to be building, we are gonna host on our ClickSense local host server. But if we just select all of this, just control A, and load, there is our dashboard, which you'll be very familiar with that we've just built. Now notice we can't actually select anything or do anything to this, it is just a view of the data. Um, and we've got some general options where we can actually change those parameters. And this adds parameters to our URL uh, for those interactions. So you can see here we've got an APT equals no interaction currently. So we can't interact with this document. And that might be a good use case for some views or, or sheets that you want to embed. Maybe you just want to embed a simple visualization or sheet that you don't want any interaction on. And that's fine. You know, we can even say select a visualization itself and copy and just load that single object. Okay, so let's go back to overview. And then if we say we remove this, disable interaction, and you know, we can even add like a selections bar. We've got our selections bar at the top. And again, I'm just gonna copy this link, this URL. And you can see we've got OPT equals current selections. So notice how our URL changes based on our selections that we make made in this UI in this wizard. This now contains our selections bar and we can actually make selections on our data. So this acts very similar now to a click application and you can see just how easy it is to extend click and embed views externally.